I'm going to run a special here today. Something a little different. My grandkids are always wanting to get in on my videos. So, I'm going to offer a special incentive for you to watch several of my next upcoming videos. In each of these videos, one of my grandkids, there's going to be seven of them all together, are going to appear in a cameo role. I'll also include their name. If you email me the name of the seven grandkids that are in my next seven videos to the address below this video in the information line, I'll give you an extra 10% off the next laptop you purchase from me. Any questions, email me. Come up with those names and send me an email with the names and I'll let you know what you need to do to redeem your offer. Good luck and happy hunting for the grandkids. Very interesting. Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. On our YouTube channel, we have a series of YouTube videos that are designed to help our customers and the general public with tips and tricks to fix your computer or enhance its performance. Before we get to the subject of today's video, I want to put just a quick editorial in for who we are. I mentioned we are the Laptop Barn. We're out of Flint, Michigan. We've been selling laptops on the internet for since 1998, so over 20 years. That puts us in a, an old timers in this business. I'm going to put a couple of links below. If you have any questions about the products that we sell or interested in a great deal on a used laptop, follow the link to our eBay store or our website, or drop us an email. Um, we'd be certainly glad to get back with you. We also supply small computer stores around the country and are always looking for good wholesale customers. So, check us out. Okay, in today's video, we're going to show you how to change the battery in a Dell Latitude 5400 laptop. 5400 is a relatively new design. The battery is inside. So we're going to need to do some disassembly in order to get at it. And the battery we're talking about is the Type 4GVMP. It's a 68 watt hour battery. Uh, if you need a replacement, I usually buy them right on eBay. You'll find suppliers selling these at a reasonable price. There is a cable also involved, but you should be able to use the cable from the other battery that you're taking out. That's a cable that takes the power from the battery to the motherboard. So chances are you'll be able to reuse the cable. Okay, now to do this, fairly straightforward. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver and a flat-headed screwdriver to use as a little bit of a pry bar at one point. So we turn the laptop upside down and there are several screws that hold that bottom plate on. So we're going to take those screws off. They're around the perimeter. That'll allow us access to the inside of the laptop. A lot of these new designs use internal batteries. I personally don't like them because I think it, too much heat's trapped in the assembly. You can see this design's got several grills for the um, allowing the heat to uh, heat to escape vented through those grills on the bottom okay now you undo the screws and now that it's just held on there sometimes a little tricky to pry sometimes a little tricky but it's just uh it's just uh snapped in there at this point once you get those exterior screws done so put my screwdriver under the back there and gently lift up. If you get any resistance, you might want to work your way around it. I'm going to try to put it up on end and um, then the, just pop that back off. Again, it's just snapped in there. Just be careful. There's the battery. There's a couple of screws that hold the battery in. So we take those two screws out. And then the battery will just uh, lift up. Looks like I missed one of the screws there. I only took one of them out. Here's the second one. 
Okay, now that battery should just lift up. It's only held on by the cable that's connecting it to the motherboard. Now you see that there's that cable. The connection to the motherboard's right there. You grab onto that connector. Should pull straight up. It'll just unsnap. A little tricky to get your fingers on sometimes, but there's actually a little holder on the back of it to help you do that. You just pull it straight up. Now you can you reuse this cable. So the cable's routed through a little channel there in the bottom of the battery. You disconnect that cable and then get your new battery and reverse that process on a new battery. Put the cable, reroute the cable through the channel. Plug it into the battery there on the top. And then fish it around the little retaining tabs. Now we're going to want to plug that battery into the motherboard. So we're going to take that connector and there's you can check the type number on the cable there just in case you need to order a new cable but usually the cables are okay unless you damage it somehow. All right, you get it into position on the motherboard just press it down it snaps right in. Now I know my battery is good here at this point you could and before you put the bottom back on you could turn it over and power the laptop up just to make sure you got a good connection. Uh, if you do that, just be careful that you're working on a plastic surface or something non-metallic. I'm on a foam topped table here, so I could do that. Um, and the, uh, that just might save you having to take it all apart again if for some reason either the battery was bad or you didn't make a good connection um, with that connector. Um, so that's just one little tip. Now you put two screws back in on the battery and place the re bottom cover on and just reverse that process. It's that simple. That's all there is to it. Snap that back in. It just kind of locates and snaps in prior to putting the screws on. Make sure it's all the way down and then we're just going to go around and Put them screws in, that's all there is to it. Okay, so pretty straightforward. The newer designs, a lot of them you have to do this, take the bottom plate off instead of being able to change the battery from the outside. Batteries are supposed to last longer. Um, so that's it. If you like the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to our channel. We're all the time coming out with tips and tricks. And that's it for this. Good luck.